Hey guys, uh, welcome to Story It's Sad Day. This time is a bit of a special occasion, because, um, you probably have heard that Cyberpunk 2077's 1.5 update has just updated. And, I mean, by the time you have this, it probably, you know, would have already happened. In fact, definitely would have, but... Um, since I record these in advance, I don't really have, you know, pardon, uh, any, um, call at anyone, so I get these the same time as you do, so, yeah. And anyway, um, yeah, welcome. To Cyberpunk 2077, I will be detailing some of the changes. And as someone who has actually um, played uh, Cyberpunk 2077 to completion uh, back when it first came out 14 months ago, um, I am pretty well set up to say if it has improved or not. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, there's some additional content uh, included in this, as you may have heard. Uh, I'm allowed to rent apartments anytime uh, after Act 2. Uh, I can change V's appearance, finally! Although it's not appearance like, as in like, it's just like cosmetic shit like your hair, your makeup, your nail varnish, whatever. I mean it's a start, but... For a game about like augmenting your um entire self doesn't really work because I want to be able to replace my whole fucking arm if I get sick of it. Just go like sh -sh 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 -sh. anyway. Uh, weapons. There's a couple of scopes. There's a couple of muzzle brakes. Couple of guns. Uh, new poses for photo mode, which I probably won't use because I never use photo mode, even though I should because the game is beautiful, but whatever. Oh, um, alternate appearances for Johnny Silverhand, I guess I'll check, oh, I don't know. Uh, some new jackets and a new car. People are like, um, you know, aggravating over like whether this like actually defines as DOC. Do you guys even remember that like there's the difference between DLC and expansions, okay? DLC are not expansions. DLC is this shit. DLC is small. It's additive. Whereas ascension, uh, expansions are essential because they expand the game. That's why they call it expansions. DLC is additional content. It's stuff that, you know, you can have, but it's not exactly essential to the game. It's just nice to have. I feel like people online are just being a little bit idiotic with the whole thing. Anyway, welcome to uh, Fem V, my second character. Um, uh, this, ignore this, this is like um, Johnny Silverhand's gun. Spoilers. Um, because I modded this playthrough. <laughs> I modded this playthrough with a couple mods, which I had to uninstall beforehand. Uh, because, um, you know, it wouldn't necessarily work in this, um, version. I actually tried, um, launching it with them and it kind of broke. Ooh, hello. Who are you? You are a goon, maelstrom goon. Bounty one. No. Come on, look at this fucking. Can I not? Okay, one. It's one. One as well. Two fifty. Two fifty. Two fifty. Okay. Oh, shit. Let's go for 
I swear I played this game before. I played this game before. Shush. Stop laughing. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, cool. Oh yeah. We can accept or reject um, phone calls now. Oh. Oh yeah, they send you a message. That's cool. For us work for you, Huang Mo thinks your nickname should be demand Linus, so I guess he's happy. Looks really good sending you the cred. Cool. Hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, uh, let's call my ride. Is it control? Yeah. Oh, remember this car. Hmm. Hey. Nice. Okay, where's my controller? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, the vehicle handling is also being tweaked. Ooh, Jesus. Go back. Did I see ray tracing? I think I did. I don't think I... Ooh. Look at the reflection. Ooh, shit. I swear that wasn't there before. Anyway. Actually, I should probably stay away from any... Oops. Oh, back. I should probably stay away from any... Oh, crap. I leveled up my character before. Now I'm going to have to do it again. I was hoping to not. Uh, okay. Okay. I mean, another thing that is changing this you can actually control the map with your freaking keyboard now. I love this. This is so useful. Fuck's sake. Alright. Pick up me for Jackie. Ah. Oh. I would want to. Yeah. Wait, fast travel? There's no fucking. There's actually a couple gates. Um. Come here. Yeah. Let's go to a gig. Back. <sighs> Gonna have to respect my character again. Great. Okay, first. Let's level up cool, I guess. Yeah, they renamed um, stealth to ninjutsu because there isn't really any stealth things in here, really. I suppose I'll take a few of these actually. Oh fuck! It's happening again. Okay, I'll use this then. Fine. Oh, 
Let me do aerial takedowns. Aerial takedowns? How have I not known this was in the game? I didn't know that was in the game. I had a few ranks of cold blood, I know this. Cold blood is super useful. Back. Reflexes. Handguns. Handguns is where it's at. Pistols and revolvers. Mitigation is also a change. It used to be uh, evasion, uh, but then evasion never did anything in the game. It literally was just like somehow disabled in the code or some shit. I don't know. I don't know the um, story there, but recoil. Very nice. Whoops. Okay, corral. That's good. What's that? Crit chance. Oh, yeah, crit chance. Yeah, fuck yeah. Draw time. Just straight up damage. There we go. Damage to limbs? I guess. Last round is double damage. What else? Damage penalty. Dodges while aiming. Fire. That's another one. Have I found anything in blades? I don't know if I do. I never really use blades. I might just drop that. No, assault. No, no, no. Not assault. Not assault. Uh, annihilation. That's what. That's what I was doing. Moving targets? Sure. Knock back enemies with more force. Damage to torso. Recoil? Always good. Straight up damage. Reload time. Crit damage. Negation chance, sure. Grab all the ones in here. Oops. Athletics. Uh, there's some. You yeah, have these. Are good. Getting hit doesn't require regeneration. Generally regenerates during combat. Melee damage. Fuck that. Full damage. Always good to have. Health regen activates 20% faster. Max stamina. Dodging. Technical ability. I don't know what this. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Should we get someone to... Yeah, sure. Maybe it's good to, um... Straight up damage, attack speed. That'll be useful. Combos of blades have bleeding effects. Ooh, defensive attacks. And two more left. Stamina cost. Okay. Save. Thank you. Now if I die, it doesn't matter. 
Here we go. Importantly, whoa, Jesus. Oh, that's a, that's a bit of a bug there. Go and look at that if you have. At risk of um, you know, seizures and shit. Who's this? All right. Okay. Fuck. Ah. Uh. Fuck, I've forgotten how the guns work! Fuck! Hide. Hide. Quickly, how does everything work? <laughs> I've forgotten how things work. Uh, how you fucking... Consumable is X. Okay. Might just be a high level area. Well that I feel like I'm level thirty. Man. So I shouldn't be that underpowered. Right? I don't know. Maybe I should just like stay in my lane. You should just drive by these guys. Instead of dying like a chump. Yo, V, there's this badge. He needs help with his investigation. Guy's known for operating in the gray zone. No scruples about working with mercs. Attach more deeds for you. Mine is Aaron McCulson, MCPD Sergeant. He used to work for me as a consultant on the show Cops and Chops. Eight seasons. And he's asking me for a favor. Aaron's been digging to Maestrom for a while now. He says he's found the warehouse where they torture people. You know how it is for badges. Law slows them down with amounts of paperwork. So if they want to get something done, they have to get creative. Aaron knows that, which is why instead of working, waiting for fat-ass charges to get him a permission, he wants to get help from a contractor. It's me. Jobson will get into the warehouse, cord it's attached, steal the security cam footage and bring it back to Aaron. Should be enough to push this case through. And if you happen to shoot a few maelstroms along the way, well, shit happens, right? Well, won't be worse off without them, that's for sure. Cool. Cool. Alright. Boom. It's so sneaky. Oh, it's that guy. Take him down. 
I'm dying super fast. I should just do the main fucking quest. I don't know. Okay, fine. Let's go to fucking. Let's go to main quest, I guess. I think it's the right time for it. The handling is so much better. Whoa, shit. Oh! Fuck! Fuck! I'm not used to controlling a car, I usually- well, I usually, um... Motorbikes. I find motorbikes are really good in the city. Oop. Whoa! What's that? See what I mean? I don't know if you remember me. I'm the prick who landed on the roof. Not my first time. Don't remember you. Cause I didn't get in through the front. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> get a load of this one. Hey. Right. Rules are simple. If someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. Mm -hmm. Find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. Thanks. My, what a sweet little face you have. Thank you. Also, um, another thing they put in. Let me see if I can remember what button it is. Uh, general exploration. They put in a. Where is it? Where is it? It's supposed to be on. They added in a walk. Yeah, it's Hoggle Walking. So we can actually walk in this game. Which always was a pet peeve of mine. Now I can actually work and be immersed. It's still pretty damn fast for walking. But okay. I mean, at least it's a start. Here we go. So the bar and ask for Evelyn. Mm -hmm. Hey. Sup. Oh, that's get you good. something. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm looking for Evelyn. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? A big tipper. A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. Uh huh. It's all right, Mateo. Just waiting for this one. Uh huh. What the? Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. I feel like I'm not looking at her. Wait, wait. wait to there we go. Drink. Hm. How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Mm -hmm. Why would you meet here? Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Hmm. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. Oh shit, hang on. I just need to remember if I have <laughs> I might need to just turn off a few things. Wait, where's the fucking Oh, why is it on hard? Oh. I think I may have set that. Okay. Oh, what? Okay, that's a weird requirement. I was just. Okay, back in the car. <sighs> All right. I mean, I didn't really want to do the. Oh, okay, cool. I'm here. All right. Um, I just need to remember if I have. Graphics? Trying to find the old. Why is it under Ultra? Shouldn't really be under Ultra. No. Oh, I think I have, oh. I'm gonna have to go back out. Sorry, guys. Should really check before I started recording. Settings. Nudity sensor on. Here we go. <laughs> Continue. Hey everyone, feels great to have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or the Whale? Sorry about Apparently this, you the court guys. Safe in Japanese waters. Uh Interesting get up. Also, you aren't fooling anyone with that gun, right? Okay. <laughs> 
Oh yeah. Whoa. Here we go. I love having a I love having a walk. It's so good. Huh. So um she's important to the story later. Hey. Get you something. So curious, the name Lizzie's. That the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Oh, now I'm just flat interested. The real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Uh -huh. Paid right, insured, and had decent security. Good spot all in all. Till? Let me guess. It didn't last. No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. <laughs> the gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed. Out of respect. Fair enough. Biz booms to this day. All right. Um, looking for some called Evelyn. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here. Who's asking? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite. It's all right, Mateo. Let's wait for this one. Evelyn Parker. Hey. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Drink. That's all. Only tequila I drink. How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why would you meet here? Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. All right. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a horny girl like me do for a hungry guy? A little vanilla stuff, eh? Relax. Maybe I'm interested. Yeah. Yeah. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, uh -huh. and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Look, you don't care what Dex thinks, all right? You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? A no. Little bit. Just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Uh, to be honest, just started working with the guy. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Mm -hmm. Elaborate, please. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere, not in people, 
but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Okay, let's talk biz. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. Really? The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? I am familiar with the franchise. Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Compeki and Tokyo's still leagues above the rest. <laughs> Two are identical to each other. Japan's staff. The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. Ugh, all the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that, true. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? <laughs> Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. Hmm. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Ooh. Emperor's prepared Ooh. to cede his throne after 150 years? Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Mm -hmm. Telling me you're one of them? He's my target, really? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yori's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Even so, it's still Yorinobu fucking Arasaka. Let's see what you have. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu okay. recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? I'm sorry, I'm just still on the... Whatever you just said. Um. V? What's Yorinobu want in return? So what's Yorinobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. So where does your noble keep the relic? Do you have that information? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because your Nobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside it looks like an ordinary briefcase. Pardon? And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Studied finance and biotech in Tokyo, probably to please his father. Mm -hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, Nomads, from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup or its downfall. Yeah. <gasps> That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of it. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. His 
risky move with the biochip. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Ow. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. So do you even know what's on this relic? One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. Mm. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Okay, what's next? Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think VDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. Jacking off to in those boxes. No. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing yeah, details, yeah, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. Yeah. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Uh-oh. Alright, I think... Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? So we know him personally. It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. You don't have to leave that there, because I do not want to reveal too much of the story for who hasn't, um, done it yet. Uh, there's prob- there's like a ton that they've added in this game that I probably, um, haven't shown any of. Sorry, I- I'm not <laughs> exactly the best, um, player of this game, because apparently I forgot I said it too hard. Um, but yeah, it does look way better. So I hope you guys, um, actually pick it up. And, um, I mean, you guys probably would have already done it by the time this comes out on the main channel. But, for any of you still deciding, it's pretty good. Anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Uh, please check up here for um, my previous playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077. And now, uh, if you're on YouTube, please like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, I've been Purist, signing off.